Hi, boys and girls. Okay, today in math, we are talking about two shapes, and we're going to be comparing them. And, com excuse me, comparing them means we're going to be talking about the attributes. That means the qualities of the shapes. How would we describe them, okay? Now, this is one shape. What do you see? What shape is this? Straight line, straight line, straight line, straight line. And they all look to be about the same. Corner, 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 corner. Do you know what it is? Square. Very good. The other shape we're talking about is a circle. Very good. Okay. So let's look over here. I have our vocabulary written down for us. And so I have at the top right here, circle. It starts with a C. I'm going to try to get this a little bit closer. Okay. So circle. <coughs> Excuse me. That would be this shape right here. A circle. Okay, the next one is a square. A square. That would be this one right here. Okay, now we're going to take our fingers and we're going to draw a circle. Can you draw a circle? Now, if I took my etch a sketch, this is the one that if we were in the classroom, we would be using one like this, okay? And so we always start at the top when we're writing. We go around all the way. That's a circle. You can draw it on your hand. Pretend like it's an iPad. Draw it on the back of your hand. Draw it on your cheek. Uh-huh. Draw it on, if you have someone sitting next to you, draw it on their back. Okay, I'm going to draw it on the back of my hand. But you can draw it on someone's back using your finger. We can draw it in the air. Okay? Cool. Okay. Now, does a circle have straight lines? Is it straight? And straight means, get my picture. It's like if we drew this. This is a straight line. Does a circle have a straight line? No, it doesn't, does it? No, a circle doesn't have a straight line. A circle is what the next word is in our vocabulary. Curved. Curved. This is curved. So a circle is curved. Can you draw curved? That's a curved line. Now draw a straight line. There you go. Okay. Now... What about a square? Does a square have a straight line? Let me erase this. And remember, you can always stop the video to go get your Etch-a-Sketch, okay? So does the square have a straight line? Let's see. Down, over, up, over. Does it have a straight line? Yes. How many does it have? Let's count them. One, two, three. Four. It has four straight lines. Wow. Does the square have any curved lines? No, it doesn't, does it? Let's look at this a real square from real life. Does it have any curved lines? No. Another thing I found that is a square is this. Does it have any curved lines? No. They're straight lines. They're straight. Okay, now, what about the next vocabulary word? It's side. That's the side of something. So I drew a picture pointing to the side. The side. So can you point to your side? This is the side of my arm. This is the side of my face. The side of my head. The side of my nose. Side. Every shape and everything has a side. Yeah. So now in this shape, this is a side. These are sides. Can you say sides? Mm-hmm. Now the circle has, 
it's curved. It's curved all the way around, right? Yeah, so the circle, the sides are kind of different. They're not straight sides, are they? No, okay. Now the next word is corner. A corner is when two sides meet. Two straight line sides meet. That's a corner, okay? So I'm gonna put it up here. Let's put it a little over. That's the corner, okay? So if we look at this square, how many corners does it have? One, two, three, four. Four corners. Let's look at this corner. One, two, three, four. How many corners? Four corners. How many sides? One, two, three, four. Four sides. Good job. Now, all of these words in red, these are attributes. Can you say that big word? Say attributes. Good. Okay. So, attributes means that's the way we describe something. Okay? Got it? Okay. Now, what we're gonna do now, you're gonna use some things that you have around your house to make these two shapes today. Now, this is not your complete homework because we have a page out of our homework page to do, but I want you to use some things that you have around your house to practice making a circle or a square. Now, I got some things so that you could see that you don't have to go to the store and buy things. You can use whatever you have. You can use straws, you can use candles. Remember I used these last week in my math lesson? You can use, if you have any popsicle sticks, you can use those in making a square. Your crayons, you could use these in making a square. And I showed you the Q-tips I have, you can use these in making a square. Okay, another thing in making a circle, you can use some yarn. Remember I have this yarn I showed you last week. It's really pretty. It's all these pretty colors. When you just start pulling it, it changes colors. It's pretty cool. Now, you may have yarn in one color. You may have different type of yarn. That's perfectly fine, but you can put it down and make it into a circle. Another thing that I found is I found some ribbon left over from Christmas. Don't know why I have it. I don't use a lot of ribbon at Christmas. I just smack a bow on there and I'm done. But, <laughs> but I had this real pretty ribbon. This ribbon I could use to make a circle. Laying it down and curling it up. I'm showing you, but you can't see me. Okay, there you go. I made a circle. I put it over here. You can see it better. See? Oh, now my circle is falling, okay? So I practice making a circle. Circles can be different sizes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can use whatever you have. But I wanna make sure you remember that a ball is not a circle, okay? A ball is round and you can hold it like this. This is a sphere, this is different. It's not a circle. A circle is flat, like this. This is a circle, okay? So families, please remember when you're saying something about a ball that's round, it's a sphere, like the earth or a globe or a ball, they're all spheres, spheres, okay? If it's flat, if it's a flat circle like this and like this, okay, that is a circle. We got that, okay? So you can use some of the things that you have at your house to make some of the shapes. Now I'm gonna make a couple shapes just to show you, okay? So I'm gonna make a square. Now this, this of course I got the one stick that is broken, of course, but that is my square, okay? That's one way, you can use sticks. You could use, what else did I say? crayons. So, got to make got to make the sides. Oh, look, see, I have a corner. There's one corner. Got to make another side. Now come back here, little crayon. And I got to make another side. Well, 
What shape is this? Do you remember? It is a what? Oop, that side keeps rolling away, doesn't it? That is a square. That is a square. Very good. One, two, I'm counting the corners. Three, four, four corners. Okay, very cool. Okay, another thing we could use are those Q-tips to make a what? A square. They don't roll quite so bad. <laughs> They're a little bit easier. Okay, oh, that one wanted to roll a little bit just because I said that he wanted to roll. Okay, what shape is that? A square. Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. Four what? Four sides. How many corners? One, two, three, four. Four what? Four corners. Okay, now I'm gonna take my yarn and I'm gonna make a circle. Okay, I made my circle. Can you see it? Let me move it up a little. There we go, there's my circle. Now does my circle have any corners? No. Does my circle have sides? No, it's curved, it's curved. It just keeps going around and round. Very cool, okay. So, we talked about two shapes today. What were they? A square and a circle, good job. Okay, I hope that you can take some time out of your day to practice making squares and circles and see if you can find some around your house. Your paper assignment is to circle the object that is the longest. Now, longest means biggest, okay? The tallest, that's, that's another way of saying it. At first, we have some markers and some pencils and some crayons and then some rulers and then some glue sticks, and then some more pencils again. So you're just gonna color the one that's the longest, okay? And then you can take a picture and send it to me, okay? And if you have the ability to make some squares today with something that I showed you, and to make a couple circles, I would love to see that too. Okay, guys, make it a great day. See you in small group. Bye-bye.